Hello everyone, welcome back to Studio Technologies. In today's video, we'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be showing you how I made this musical heart that's perfect for that special someone in your life. It plays the 8-bit tune of your choosing and blinks the surrounding lights in a pattern of your choosing as well. This project was something I created a while ago and I thought it'd be interesting to share. So without further ado, let's get started. The musical heart is driven by an AT Tiny 85. I chose this microcontroller due to its small form factor and low power usage, which allowed me to make it compact and battery powered. However, this decision comes at a cost. The AT Tiny 85 only has five digital pins. The 8 bit tune is output from a piezo buzzer connected to one of the microcontroller's digital pins with a 1 kilo ohm resistor. That leaves me with only four pins to work with, which would be okay if it didn't need to drive 12 20 milliamp LEDs as well. To solve this, I could have used a dedicated LED driver or a shift register, but I wanted to keep both cost and current consumption low. After doing some research, I came across a technique called Charlie Plexing. Charlie Plexing allows me to drive 12 LEDs with just four digital pins by connecting the LEDs in pairs across the four digital pins. By then setting each of the four pins to a combination of high, low, and high impedance output states, I can individually turn on one LED at a time. Essentially what the circuit is doing is applying a voltage across a pair of LEDs to turn on one of the pairs, and then by reversing the voltage you turn on the other LED in that pair instead. To learn more about Charlie Plexing, I've included a link to a website in the description below that gives a very detailed explanation. To make sure that the LEDs are all working as they should be, I assembled a prototype on a breadboard with an Arduino Nano. For now, I'm using the onboard 5 volt supply, but the final device will use a voltage regulator with a couple of bypass capacitors. There will also be a button connected to the reset pin on the AT Tiny for the final device as well. As you can see, all of the LEDs light up in an erratic manner. We can fix this later in software by running each of the LEDs and taking note of the order in which they light up and storing that order into an array. With the prototype figured out, it was now time to begin work on the PCB layout. Since this was a Valentine's Day gift, I decided to shape the board like a heart, placing each of the LEDs evenly around the perimeter. The main circuitry was placed in the middle of the heart along with the push button connected to the AT Tiny 85, which allows me to reset the microcontroller when pressed. I also added a 7805 5 volt voltage regulator to provide power for the circuit. A couple of bypass capacitors were thrown in there as well to ensure the power lines were noise free. While waiting for the PCBs to arrive in the mail, it was time to start working on software. I wanted to keep it simple and have the heart blink around the perimeter and then play the tune through the buzzer. To accomplish this, I wrote a simple Arduino sketch with a function called CharlieWrite to turn on a specific LED and another function to play out the custom tune. To help with playing the tune, I tried looking for Arduino libraries I could use. The first one I found was called AT Tiny Playtunes. It allows you to take MIDI files that are converted with the MIDI Tones companion program and play out the various notes through a buzzer with a digital pen. Unfortunately, I was only able to get it working on my Arduino Nano and not the AT Tiny. I then tried to manually play each note myself, but that only led to more frustration. Luckily, I found an online generator created by a website called Gogotronics that produces an Arduino sketch with the properly translated MIDI tones. To use it, you just need to upload your desired MIDI file, select your desired settings, and hit submit. The website will then generate a ready-to-use Arduino sketch with the decoded melody. Links to everything I mentioned will be in the description below. By the time I got the software figured out, the PCBs arrived and it was time to begin the assembly. With the components all soldered into place, the only thing left to do is upload the code onto the AT Tiny, which is done by using an Arduino Uno as an ISP. And then we take our flash microcontroller, insert it into the musical heart, and just like that, this project is complete. Let's test it out.
All of the files for this project can be found on GitHub. There's a link to it in the description below. If you decide to modify it or make one yourself, I'd love to see it. You can at me on Twitter or tag me on Instagram. Links to both are in the description below. If you have any questions or comments about the project, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, share with a friend and make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to receive notifications for when the next video drops. Thanks for watching.